Barbados has implemented comprehensive security measures ahead of the highly anticipated T20 Cricket World Cup. That includes legislation that will allow law enforcement officials from other Caribbean countries to support local security efforts if needed. Attorney General Dale Marshall said the Visiting Police Forces Bill establishes a structured legal framework for potentially bringing in officers from the other Caribbean host nations, Antigua, Barbuda, Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Trinidad. He told Parliament that the legislation sets out clearly the rights and obligations of visiting police forces if they're required as Barbados hosts nine of the World Cup matches, including the final. There's a contemplation of the possibility of, of having to bring in police officers from other territories to support our efforts, but not just into Barbados, each of the host countries will be passing identical legislation so as to facilitate us doing the same thing and, and, and sharing uh, police resources and, and other resources among those six countries. Although declining to give details about the specific arrangements, the Attorney General assured Barbados has not cut any corners when it comes to security for the tournament in June. All of our agencies are ready. Mr. Speaker, we have made sure that our agencies are fully equipped. We've made sure that in terms of manpower, um, that we, we have the best possible manpower arrangements. Um, we have been, both the Barbados Defense Force and the police service have had the benefit of some significant specialized training and that specialized training continues as I speak. So there are a whole set of things that happen behind the scenes that the Barbadian public might not be aware of, but I want to give the country the assurance that we have spared no expense in making sure that from a security standpoint, Barbados is ready to host our share of these games and Barbados without doubt is ready to host the finals.